To balance this equation, we have hydrobromic acid plus iron 3 hydroxide. That gives us iron 3 bromide plus water. We'll count the atoms up. On the reactant sides, we have hydrogen, one of those, plus 3 times this one here. That gives us 3 more. So we have 4 hydrogen atoms. Bromines, we have 1. Irons, 1. And this 3 applies to everything here. 3 times the 1, we have 3 oxygens. Over on the product side, we have hydrogens, the 2. Bromines, 3. Iron, 1. And in oxygen, we have one of those. It may make sense for us to try to figure out the bromines first, because we could put a 3 right here. So we have our 1 times a 3. That gives us 3 bromines, but we need to update the hydrogens. So for the hydrogens, we have the 1 times the 3. That gives us 3 hydrogens plus the 3 times the 1 here, 3. We have 6 hydrogens. So the bromines are okay, the irons are okay, but the hydrogens and the oxygens aren't balanced. Let's fix the hydrogens. If we put a 3 in front of the H2O, 2 times 3, that gives us 6 hydrogens. And then the water, because this 3 applies to everything, 1 times the 3, that gives us 3 oxygens, and this equation is balanced. People usually have problems, they don't count up all the hydrogens. We have a hydrogen here, and then 3 times the 1, 3 here, and that'll cause a lot of problems. This is Dr. B with the balanced equation for HBr plus FeOH3 yields FeBr3 plus H2O. Thanks for watching.